Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about some news that just broke about Trump supposedly killing a deal in the Senate. But before I do that, I had to thank every single one of you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them. Thank you for commenting on them. Thank you for sharing them. And especially thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. It blows my mind that this many people want to see what I have to say. But I'm thankful for every single one of you that does. So this came into my e inbox and I thought, okay, what's going on here? Mitt Romney comes unglued, blames Trump after McConnell signals death of bipartisan border bill. So you start reading this thing, and I'll put the links to all of this in the, in the uh, description so you can look them up for yourself. But you start reading this thing, and apparently the uh, House has already passed a uh, border bill that I think it's pretty obvious the Democrats would never accept. And the Senate is supposedly working on a bipartisan agreement on national security. And as they often do, they're including funding for Israel and Ukraine in the same bill. I don't really understand why they do this. I know that there's a reason for it, but it doesn't make any sense to me. These ought to be separate bills. They ought to deal with each, each issue individually and not muddy the waters with other stuff. But that's the way Congress works, and they've been working that way for a long time. But... When I started reading this article, I'm seeing where, okay, uh, supposedly Mitch McConnell, who in my opinion is a snake of the worst kind, I don't know why they keep reelecting him in his state. <sighs> he, he said that Trump is the Republican nominee and we don't want to do anything to upset him we being the Senate. So we're going to have trouble passing this bill. Okay. So now all the senators, particularly the rhino senators, are attacking Trump, saying that uh, Trump supposedly wants to delay any action on a bill until after he becomes president so that he can claim responsibility for the success. Well, first of all, the very first thing that came to my mind was in 1968, when Richard Nixon was running for president and Hubert Humphrey was his opponent and LBJ had decided not to run again because he'd done such a lousy job on the Vietnam War that he knew he couldn't get reelected. All of a sudden, the Democrats were claiming that Nixon was working behind the scenes to destroy a peace agreement that LBJ had uh, worked out with the North Vietnamese. Now, if you ask any historian, they'll tell you it's true. And I can tell you from personal knowledge and experience of having researched it, it's a lie. But, you know, they don't care about lies. It's, it was a cudgel that they used to try and defeat Nixon. It didn't work. He won anyway. But this situation here today reminds me so much of that that I just, I, I become very suspicious. Really? First of all, if you look at what's going on on the border, it's an absolute disaster. And Biden is getting creamed over it. Look, the governors, or excuse me, the mayors of New York City and Chicago and other cities that are being inundated with the uh, illegal aliens that the southern states are sending up there because they're being inundated are complaining bloody murder and saying we need more money you've got to help us everybody's screaming about the illegal immigration the the invasion of our country by all these illegals okay so biden is under tremendous heat for this and now all of a sudden we're going to flip the script and we're going to blame Trump for not being able to get an immigration deal done. <laughs> uh, 
something about this just doesn't smell right. Okay. It just does not smell right. And so I did a little bit of research and I came across this article. Uh, it says that Trump has publicly lambasted the potential Senate deal and uh, GOP critics and supporters of the former president were in unison. Trump's position will make it perilous, if not impossible, for a wide swath of Republicans to get behind any bipartisan deal. Well, see, if you, if you pay attention to this, what's the deal? What is the deal? Because what the deal is makes all the difference in the world. If it's a lousy deal, who would want to support that? Okay. So you read about this and you say, Senate leaders are pressing for a vote as soon as next week on the national security package. Now listen to this. Even though there is no deal or legislative text yet. <laughs> in other words, they have nothing except flapping their gums and talking about what they're doing. They have not accomplished a damn thing. They have not got a deal. They've not even written out any legislative text yet. And yet all of a sudden, this is all Trump's fault. The border is Trump's fault. The invasion is Trump's fault. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've said this many times on my channel. I don't like Trump. I think he's loud and obnoxious and disgusting. Okay, but this is typical politics. Find anything you can do and anything you can say to throw the blame on somebody else so you don't have to take the credit, quote unquote, for the failures. And that's exactly what's going on here. It's just like 1968. Ooh, 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 we're going to throw out a boogeyman. We're going to scare the daylights out of people and make them think that Trump is such a political animal that he's going to try and destroy a deal before it gets made so that he can take credit for it once they pass it in the new Congress. And the Senate Republicans are going along with it. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, people. <laughs> If you don't believe that, that what we have in this country is a uniparty, with the exception of few brave souls that are willing to stand up for the Constitution, then you're blind. You're not looking at what's going on. The, the Senate Republicans are the same as the Senate Democrats. They all want the same thing. They want more power. They want more money for themselves. And none of them care about the country. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about anything having to do with America. All they care about is making more money, maintaining their power, staying in their positions, and, and just blabbering, blabbering, blabbering political BS. And that's what this is, political BS. Uh, Lindsey Graham says, To those who think that if President Trump wins, which I hope he does, that we can get a better deal, you won't. You got to get 60 votes in the United States Senate. <sighs> to my Republican friends, to get this kind of border security, what kind of border security? You don't have anything yet. You haven't even got any text written. So what are you talking about? It's all flapping of gums. It's all breeze in the wind. It's all <sighs> stink of skunk. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. If I could wave my hand and obliterate the entire Congress and start over, I would. Because what we have there now is a bunch of bovine excrement. It's a bunch of worthless jerks who are all flapping of the gums and no action. And I don't care if they're Democrats or Republicans. They're all the same. They're a bunch of, uh, I can't use the words. They're just scum. They're disgusting, partisan, political animals who could care less about the country. Oh, they sound good. They can say the right stuff. They can make you think they care. And a lot of people fall for it. 
But come on, pay attention. Pay attention, people. Well, for all of the people that watch my channel, for every single one of you that's ever viewed my videos, I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.